Hi everyone, this vlog is on one of the most highly misunderstood, misconceptualized and superbly big, 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 big time mistaken subject and a title which is called Promises and Commitments. Now, everybody wants a commitment or a promise. May it be your family, may it be your relatives, may it be your friend circle, may it be your business, may it be the most sugar-coated thing which makes absolute nonsense, the relationships and the lovers' relationships. So, what is wrong with commitments or promises? First thing and the foremost thing which is going to hit hard like a hammer and cut into not only two but multiple pieces. That is, commitments and promises according to the lay language, layman language and majority of people how they look at it is that it is against the nature of nature. According to people, Promise and commitment is something which should never shift, which should never change. Now, this, the ideology, the perception of commitment being against the law of change, which is the very, very fundamental law of nature, commitments and promises makes you non-natural if you have a commitment and a promise which is not flexible. Promises and commitments have to be flexible, they shift, they move, but in which way? They don't shift or move with war, they move and shift with maturity. So it's like, let's say someone has a commitment or a promise for something, but on the base of that commitment or on the base of that promise, you make shift out of your life. Now that is... Stupid. That is nonsense. See, your commitment or your promise cannot be bigger than life. If you are seeking a promise or a commitment which is bigger than life, you are not going to be successful at all. Why? Because it is not natural. Commitments and promises are healthy. They should be healthy. They were always healthy, but they are for what? They are for two people to be on same page on a healthy human ground. It is not to bang around on someone else's head, declaring and proving out that you had a commitment and you had a promise and you had a promise and you had a commitment and blah, 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 which does not make any sense, but it makes absolute mess out of your and someone else's life. Right? Commitment and promise is... For what? So that someone can leap forward and take a plunge into things which helps them grow, which helps them learn. But commitment and promises should not contradict, cross your life. It should not contradict your peace of mind. It should not contradict your freedom. It should not contradict the very base of life, the very center of life, which is life in itself. Remember, promises, commitments are healthy when it happens. They are done in a mature way. Immatures, they always seek for promises and commitments who are always there for eternity. Eternity does not need commitment, neither promise. Take care, people.